of your former teammates uh, at Clemson, Dexter Lawrence, he used to be coached by uh, Patrick Graham back in New York. Have you had a chance to talk to him about uh, your new defensive coordinator? The Las Vegas Raiders defensive end Cleland Farrell recently spoke out about his new defensive coordinator, Patrick Graham. Cleland Farrell has been a controversial figure for the Raiders for some time. He was drafted fourth overall in 2019, one of the three draft picks that were supposed to change the organization, Jonathan Abram and Josh Jacobs included. And to say the very least, Cleveland Farrell has clearly underperformed. Just recently, Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels decided not to exercise the fifth year option on all of these 2019 first round picks. Cleveland Farrell was included in that. So Cleveland Farrell is on his last deal with the Raiders and he has a new defensive coordinator. Now is his shot. Now is his last shot to really make a splash with the Raiders to see if he could turn this whole career around. Even if it's inevitable that it will not work out with the Raiders, this is his last shot to really make a scene to advertise himself to other teams in the NFL. With the Las Vegas Raiders, you've seen his snaps decline over time. 648 snaps in 2019, 461 snaps in 2020, and 261 snaps just last year. So it goes down every single year by a drastic amount. Farrell was considered overvalued in the 2019 draft class because of the defensive line in Clemson. He had so much help around him. In his college career, his D-line teammates have included Christian Wilkins, Austin Bryant, and Dexter Lawrence. And the fact that he hasn't performed well gives more weight to the fact that he had a lot of help in college. Cleveland Farrell was recently named one of the worst first round picks since 2018 in the NFL. Okay, and to do that, you gotta really try to end somebody's drink. Are you clear on that, Farrell? Okay, I mean that now. So get into that. And what makes this so much worse for the Raiders is not only were there really talented players available at different positions, but even among edge rushers, there was tons of other talented players that the Raiders could have grabbed. Brian Burns of the Carolina Panthers, Josh Allen of the Jaguars, and Montez Sweat of the Washington Commanders. All of these players have performed better than Cleland Farrell so far. And nobody expected this pick to happen at fourth overall. You see the Oakland Raiders fans pissed about this pick immediately when it happened. This has been an infamous image that has not left our memories since. But it has not all been Cleland Farrell's fault. Paul Gunther was the defensive coordinator with the Raiders in Farrell's first two seasons, and in general, Paul Gunther led one of the worst defenses in the NFL. In his rookie season, Cleland Farrell had a stomach illness and actually lost 15 pounds during the season. That makes it so difficult to compete in your rookie year because that's when you're actually supposed to gain the most weight, kind of like Max Crosby. Going into the 2020 season, Season, Cleveland Farrell actually did a great job gaining more weight. He looked like a completely different player heading into the season. However, with the spread of the virus in 2020, Cleveland Farrell became ill again and began to lose weight. Unfortunately for Farrell, he was not asymptomatic and had tons of symptoms, which led to him losing more weight. Heading into the 2021 season, Cleveland Farrell had an interview on NFL Network where he actually expressed frustration with his position on the team. They drafted me because I was a winner. You know, that's the number one thing. I, whatever the team needs to do to win that's what i'm about so i'm about getting the best guys in the room at the end of the day my role on the team is a special role because i'm a guy that can play all up and down this line and i can i'm an x factor i feel like and regardless of wherever i'm playing whether i'm starting one game or not it don't really matter because i know at the end of the day god got a plan for my career and it's going to be special he however remained confident that he is still an x factor and a versatile player before the first game of the 2021 season against the ravens cleveland farrell's career took a deeper dive Cleland Farrell was listed as a healthy scratch in the first game of the season. Meaning even though he is healthy, the Raiders decided not to activate him for the game and instead they had three defensive ends activated and tons of other interior defensive linemen. This was one of the more low points in Cleland Farrell's career. And now heading into this season in 2022, Cleland Farrell is one of the three worst contracts on the Raiders team and one of the worst contracts in the NFL. Yes, it's his final year, but Cleland Farrell is set to make $9.9 .9 million against the cap. That is more than Max Crosby is making against the cap. That is more than what Chandler Jones is making against the cap. And unless the Raiders trade Farrell after the June 1st cuts, the Raiders will have to pay him this amount of money. Because if they move him before June 1st, or if they move him after June 1st through a release, not a trade, the Raiders will eat that $9.9 .9 million in dead money. But Cleveland Farrell has not been all bad. He's always been a 
consistent, talented run defender. In 2020, he had a 76.6 run defensive grade. And even in 2019, he had a 68.4 defensive grade. And like we said earlier, this is all while dealing with illnesses that caused him to lose weight as an NFL player. And we've seen great moments in Cleveland Farrell's career. Against the Jets in 2020, he had a massive day. He forced two sacks with two forced fumbles. And he also picked up a 90.7 pass rushing PFF grade, the highest in a single game of his career. And now he will be working with Patrick Graham, who has worked with his friend from Clemson, Dexter Lawrence with the Giants. Can Patrick Graham get the most out of Cleveland Farrell? I believe both sides are hoping they could work together and develop something special. And Patrick Graham had came to Clemson the day before our pro day, and he had interviewed all of us. And I remember just, just his energy was just way different. I was just like, man, this dude is about the details. Cleveland Farrell currently weighs 267 pounds. Perhaps if Cleveland Farrell could gain some weight, he could maybe be a defensive end in this 3-4 base defense. Not an edge defender, but a defensive end. If Cleveland Farrell could find a way to be productive this year, he could quite possibly have one of the greatest comebacks for first round bust in NFL history. And we've seen him flash at times, so it's not completely unthinkable that he could really do this and defy all the odds. Hopefully Farrell could utilize his versatility and find a role on this team. Let me know in the comments if you think Farrell could make a splash this year. Give me a thumbs up emoji or a thumbs down emoji. Like this video if you've watched it all the way through and ring the bell to get notifications so you see when I'm dropping new content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie of the Raiders Rundown. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.